morning. Welcome to Stevenson's fifth grade 2019 promotion ceremony. I'm Mrs. LaPierre, principal. At this time, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Family and friends, welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. It is so important that we have your support. Many of our students here in this fifth grade class have been through some difficult challenges and some changes throughout their elementary career, which have brought them here to Stevenson. Many of them have survived the school of Grace Letterly Elementary closing and they came here in the third grade. So I welcome you and we know how much everything that you have gone through with your family and we appreciate your support. Ms. Eubanks, who is an important part of our team here also, her nephew is in a promotion ceremony at McIntyre. So she started here this morning and said hello to so many of you, and then she ran over there and she's going to come back. So you will see her if you'd like to see her, but she was torn and needed to be in two places at the same time this morning. I just wanted to tell you fifth graders and remind you when we had some guest speakers at our field day last Friday, we were welcoming the Delta Sigma sorority and Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity and some college students and college graduates who had some important words of wisdom for our fifth graders. And one of the most important things, the very first thing they said as words of advice is find a good group of friends. And they spoke about how your friends influence you to work harder and achieve more. Kirk Cousins, the um, Minnesota Vikings quarterback, who's also a Michigan State graduate, spoke at the 2019 commencement at Michigan State, where he received an honorary doctorate of humanities. And he said, for him, 
It was not the what, but the who that was more important. Same message. He's had difficult teammates, difficult coaches, difficult teachers, and professors. And he's had wonderful coaches, teammates, and professors. And the people he chose to hang with and spend his time with and the people that influenced him the most, the who were more important than the what. Because those who's helped him to get where he needed to be. So please remember that as you move into middle school, there's going to be a lot of new who's. A lot of new people to get to know, a lot of new friends to make. And I'm excited for you. I just hope that you remember to make the choices that will help you to move forward and be successful. I can't wait for you to come back and visit. And you see them come back and visit all the time. We had some eighth and ninth graders here the last few days. We had um, seniors here helping out at field day. They can't wait to come back to Stevenson because this is their family and this is their home. So please come back and tell us all about your college scholarships and the degrees that you're earning and the life that you have chosen. With that, I have some fifth grade students that we are going to welcome to the stage that want to share with you, family and friends, their reflections on their elementary years. So fifth graders, please join me on the stage at this time. Good morning, friends, family, and students at elementary school staff. Hello, my name is Madame Brown, and I've been at students at elementary school since kindergarten. I have had lots of great experiences here, and I'd love to tell you about my kindergarten experiences with Ms. Benazzo, my third grade experiences with Ms. Gaddis, and last, my experience this year with Ms. my home teacher, Ms. Hamilton. My first year at Stevenson in kindergarten was one of the most funnest years for me. I remember every day at that time, me and some friends were not next to each other and, and talk while we were supposed to be sleeping. I also remember Mrs. Fernando's amazing math sentence. These early experiences in math helped to shape me into the great math student I am today. But the best part of kindergarten was recess. I recall the great feeling of swimming on the swing. My friends and I would do tricks and I felt like I was a superhero because I could swim so high. Kindergarten was a really fun year for me. In third grade, Mrs. Gaddis was my teacher and she was fun and chill. One of my favorite things we did that year was during our end of the year celebration. Mrs. Gaddis and her daughter hosted a class party. There were cupcakes, chips, and ruby floats. Another thing I recall about being in Mrs. Gaddis' class was how she made learning fun. She allowed us to work in the table groups and I really enjoyed the turn to talk experiences. Third grade was another one of the best years I students did. This year in fifth grade, I was was my best year as we said elementary school. I had a great teacher named Miss Hamilton. Miss Hamilton always pushed us to use our minds and think of our actions and consequences. She always encouraged us to do our best and not let laziness get in the way of being successful. Miss Hamilton pushed us so hard because she wanted us to be successful in middle school. Her encouragement taught me that if I want to succeed, I have to push myself and try hard. Ms. Hamilton was so cheerful and chill most of the time unless someone made a bad choice. One, I would also like to acknowledge my home in class, Section 51. My classmates were fun a lot of the time and treated each other like brother and sister and a good and bad one. I'm going to miss our time together next year and I wish them success in middle school. I also want to say thank you to all the staff at Stevenson, especially Mrs. Richmond, Mrs. Fontevance, Mrs. Brown, Ms. Martin, Mrs. Sudek, Mr. Perrier, and Ms. Hubert. And to all the other staff, thank you for looking out for all the students and helping us prepare for middle school. And again, congratulations to all my fifth grade class. Welcome friends, family, students, and staff members, and special invited guests. My name is Noah Ho. I've been attending Stevenson Elementary School for six years. I would like to share some special moments I had as I journeyed through elementary school. First, I would like to thank all my teachers who have taught me here at Stevenson. 
But there are a few I would like to thank, especially. First, I would like to thank my first grade teacher, Ms. Richmond, followed by my fourth grade teacher, Ms. Moorhead. And last but not least, my fifth grade teacher, Ms. Hamilton. And first grade, my teacher was in her class. I remember earning, earning the most dojo points, which made me feel unstoppable. Secondly, I recall at the end of each day, Ms. Richmond would allow us to watch the most. This is why I perfect my dance moves. I also remember Ms. Richmond always loved to read to us. Her favorite book was Judy B. Jones. Finally, I remember her rewarding us for good behavior. That is why she's one of my favorite teachers. In fourth grade, my teacher was Ms. Moorhead. One thing I remember about Ms. Moorhead was her favorite drink was Pepsi and her favorite store was Carly. <laughs> I remember the entire fourth grade went to see Wonder, the movie, and how much how much fun we had. I also remember going to the Detroit Zoo. Ms. Hel I mean, Ms. Moorhead didn't just provide great experience outside the class, but she always was a great social studies teacher. In conclusion, I want to thank her for, for giving me the education and experience I needed to pass on to the fifth grade. Lastly, my fifth grade teacher was Ms. Hamilton. Ms. Hamilton was my favorite science teacher. We did so many fun things in her class. She always encouraged us to reach our expectations and she always pushed us to push us to our winners and young. That Ms. Hamilton helped me improve her reading by putting in small groups. <laughs> which ultimately helped me improve my math scores. One of the last memories was Ms. Hamilton with her holiday breakfast. She made the entire class pancakes with syrup and whipped cream. Another great thing about the fifth grade was the field trip. One of, the, our, one of our first field trips was to Upland Fields Farm. While we were there, we saw a farm stage show and learned how to make butter from cream. Had cider and donut. At the end of the field trip, we had the chance to take a pumpkin on Summing up, I want to thank my parents and my teachers and my parents and my teammates for never giving up on me. Good, good luck to find the middle school. Elementary school members, welcome parents, friends, and Stevenson family. Today I will be telling you about all the memories I've made in my elementary school years. Before I start, I wanted to tell you all the schools I've been to before Stevenson. I went to Auburn Elementary, First Ledley, and Stevenson Elementary. Some of my favorite memories are my first day at Stevenson, the friends I made throughout the years, the teachers I had, and the field trips I went on, although I believe field days were the best. One of my memories was my first day of fair grade. My fair grade teacher was Ms. Rourke. As soon as I walked in the classroom and sat at my desk, I realized I forgot my pencil, so I went to go get a pencil, and when I came back, the people at my table started staring at me, and after a few seconds later, I realized my pencil was at my desk the whole time. To be honest, I've always been a kind and nice child. That means I have and had a lot of friends. The reason I have a lot of friends is because I've been to three schools in all of my elementary school years. Although going to three schools, they give me a whole bunch of friends, and that was my favorite part. The more schools I went to, the more friends I made. Some of my good friends are at other schools, but I've made some wonderful friends here. Field trips were the best part of my memory. And the best and most exciting field trip I went in was the Mackinac Island field trip. Exciting. The second best field trip was the Underground Railroad field trip. The third and last best field trip was the Ann Arbor field trip to the Bucket Shark and Cafeteria. Every single field trip I went on was very fun. I wanted to thank the all the teachers who worked very hard to teach me all I know to get me to where I am now. I wanted to thank the principal, Ms. Few Year, for all the fun events and most of all field day because she's the one that pays for all the great things that come to school. I wanted to thank Ms. Eubanks and Ms. Homer for trying to get our attitude together and getting us ready for the discipline that will come with no school. Lastly, I wanted to thank Ms. Jay for giving us food every day, for being the most funny lunch lady I've ever seen, and for giving us pizza every Thursday. The best memories of elementary school are my first day of students in elementary, all the friends I met and known and loved, all the fun field trips I went on, all, and all the teachers I had, and all the teachers I had. Elementary school will be the best and most fun memory in my life. Hi, my name is Elizabeth. I'm from 
believe that my elementary school neighbors. Local staff, parents, and family that are at students at elementary school today. My elementary name is Elena. As I was stuck in my elementary, I made friends and was taught by high school teachers. However, I really enjoyed finding play and I really enjoyed the outside of us every day. Finally, I enjoyed learning the girls and the On Monday, Friday, I played games such as Gracie. I took him to Nash's neck and I jumped on the box and I ate ice cream and I loved the net. Monday, Friday was so much. On the night of October, the best, I was the best. We had so much fun. I dressed up and played games with my friends and even danced with Smiley Decline. Then I went to my classroom and I watched the clown show and feed and animals. Monday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we also ate pizza. Monday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we watched the clown show and feed and animals. We also ate pizza. We did face painting, tattoos, and arts and crafts. My brother and sister had a lot of fun. Finally, I enjoyed running for girls and girls. We practiced every Tuesday and Thursday and learned how to keep our feet tight. We also learned how to keep the rainbow over us instead of a cloud. I love girls on the run because it gives me confidence and it keeps my heart beating. In conclusion, my elementary day was so much fun. On Sunday, I jumped in place, I jumped in place, and I jumped on the bounce house and I ate ice cream. But October says I danced and played games and I saw the concert. And on on the girls on the mic, I can I ran live mouth after the girls. Therefore my own issue. I would like to thank all the fifth grade teachers and principal at Physical Elementary School. They are the reason why I had accomplished all the things that got me got me here today. For example, having an A in my math class was because of my excellent fifth grade reading, writing, and math teacher yesterday. I also learned a lot in science because I had the best science teacher yet, Miss Last thing, Miss Martin teaches my favorite class, which is history, and she's the best social studies teacher I ever had. And I know that I am thankful for this teacher, and also thankful for Ms. LaPerry and Ms. Eubanks for being the best principal and vice principal ever. First of all, I, am, I would like to thank my mom and my dad for everything that got me here today. Thank you. Good morning, students and families and staff. I'm so excited to be a part of this year's fifth grade English. I'd like to share three important moments of my years of experience here at CBC. The night before starting third grade, I was so nervous. It was going to be my first day going to a school South. My mom told me not to be afraid and let everything be when it was time for me to go to school, I missed the bus. My mom had to take me. I asked her to walk me to the class with me. I was, I was still very nervous, but she said it was going to be okay. I took some deep breaths to relax. Right here and there, I knew it was time. I knew it was time for me to go over and stop being scared. I walked into, I walked in the classroom and I saw my teacher. Her name was Mister. I introduced myself and she said she couldn't wait to get to know me. I took some I took my seat and immediately met my new friend Julia. Unfortunately a boy in my class had an interest in me. He said some really mean things, even though I told myself not to be sad. I went. After school I took I told my mom after school I told my mom. She said that the little boy has his own problems at home and just happens to take his anger out of you. She gave me a big hug and I told myself not to be happy, to be happy and stop and to be myself. I felt better. My fourth grade year, I met my new teacher, Ms. Brown. She said if I push my writing skills to the very limit, I'll be able to write amazing stories. She was right. My next story was called The Next Guy. In fifth grade, I got a little, a little braver and signed up for a job, for a banking job at my school with Michigan First Credit. I had never had a job before. I, I worked with many of my classmates, which made me happy. That job taught me about teamwork, responsibility, and most importantly, to make sure to count the money correctly and provide for it provide receipts to the customers. Next year in sixth grade, I plan to give it my all and I won't be so afraid to try new things. Good morning, parents. 
Thank you for coming up to show. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 She told me to be respectful to my teachers and my classmates. Let them know that I need to be kind and respectful to people outside of school. In first grade, my teachers told me to have to be and spelling skills and ways to get better. In second grade, I learned a lot of science and a lot of science. I learned how to write a hard thing and stuff. In third grade, I learned how to study and cut the ladies in the right places. I learned how to write in person too. I had to practice a lot at home. In third grade, is also when I started playing basketball and football. My teacher always was told me to write a lot. She said you had to make better decisions and you could be a man. She, she told me. To revise and revise the book and the book. In the fifth grade, I learned way more about the writing process and coaching. There were lots of other things in my own life. She always was good at me and told me I'm very smart and I could do it to my own. I don't need to be getting in trouble. The student told me I was very smart and I was very smart. There's so much trouble that I can do way better. I can do way better. Uh, always says I'm, I'm a very good athlete and I have a lot of potential to do something like basketball or fishing. When I go to two grade, I want to learn more about what I want to get to. I want to learn more about history and things that I want to learn. I love science. I love learning more about what how did the food and kids experience a lot of things I want to get better at the writing process, like who made it up in the movie and the movie. My first experience was good grade, where Noah Curtis David, Michael Stockwell, Michael Gordon, and Sean, and other people in the movie. I learned a couple of things from the movie, and I learned a couple of things from the movie. The advice that I have for my classmates is to follow the rules. Stay out of fight. Don't talk to the teacher. Don't go to people in school. And don't run down the road. You can hurt someone. Try your best to feel like you don't get it. This morning, we have the pleasure of hearing a few words from State Representative Kyra Bolden. She is serving her first term representing Michigan's 35th House District, which comprises Southfield, Lathrop Village, Beverly Hills, Bingham Farms, and Franklin. Bolden also serves as the assistant leader for the House Democrats. She serves on the House Judiciary and Insurance Committees and is the vice chair of the Progressive Women's Caucus. Ms. Bolden received her bachelor's degree from Grand Valley State University and went on to attend the University of Detroit Mercy School of Law. She is a civil litigation attorney. She is also an active member of our community, serving as a member of the National Congress of Black Women in Oakland County, the Women Lawyers Association of Michigan, and a commissioner of the Total Living Commission for the City of Southfield. I had the pleasure of meeting State Representative Kyra Bolden because she also serves a lot in our community and she was here reading to third grade classes as a celebrity reader. Best of all, fifth graders, State Representative Kyra Bolden is a Stevenson alumni. She attended Bernie Middle School and graduated from Southfield Lathrop High School. We are also very privileged to have her mother, 
and partner in crime here with her today. So mom, will you please wave and just say hello? Because just like you fifth graders, you can't do anything without the love and support of your family. So please join me in welcoming State Representative Kyra Bullard. Good morning, fifth graders. This is your promotional ceremony. Are you excited? Yeah. All right. So I sat in the same seats that you did. Um, I was, part of my speech was kind of explaining my background, but you know that's already done. But I went to Stevenson, and one thing that I want to share with you because this is about you, and thank you, friends and family, for also being here and giving me the honor of speaking today. But I want to make sure that I connect with the fifth graders here. So I said the same seat that you did. Um, one thing that's really interesting um, that you would know about my background is I used to have a speech impediment. And that means that I had trouble pronouncing certain words. And while I was here at Stevenson, um, they put me in a special class and helped me work on um, certain syllables that I wasn't able to pronounce. And now it's really cool because I talk to people for a living and I give speeches. And so because of the wonderful education that I received at Stevenson and Southwood Public Schools, um, I can do what I'm doing now. And I'm just so humbled and honored that I get to represent the community that I grew up in. So if there has ever been an example um, for you, please um, look to me if you feel like I'm a great example, sitting in the same seat that you have, um, is representing your community one day, because that's what it's about, right? Right? Thank you, Mr. Cameron. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I did go on to uh, Bernie Middle School, uh, which I know a lot of people will, will go to. I went to what used to be South of Lake Grove High School, which is now University Academy. Went to Grand Valley State University, go Lakers, <laughs> anybody? Um, and then I went on to law school. And I did that because I wanted to make sure that I was making a difference for those that came behind me um, and uplift the voices of the voiceless. And every day, you should think about your future and what your future goals should be. Don't um, don't be surprised if things don't go as planned, but just know that there is a plan. And that whatever you want to do, you can definitely achieve it. Um, my role wasn't a straight role, you know, to the top. I This is my first term serving in the Michigan State House of Representatives. It was a hard fought race, um, but with the help of um, many of the people in this room, uh, of my friends and, and family, we did it. So always rely on your friends and family um, for support, and you can do whatever you want to do. And I just want to give a shout out to my mom, who, um, who raised me in this wonderful community and is always with me. And so we still have that connection. My mom is my best friend. Now you're gonna have some troubling times with your parents, but they're gonna always come out, always have your best interests in mind, and they'll be your best friends one day. <laughs> one thing I'd like to impress upon everybody here is just lift as you climb. Um, so you should never be too big to help the person underneath you, and even as fifth graders, and even, and even if you can matriculate as sixth graders, reach back and help people underneath you that may look up to you and need your support and help. You're never too young to start mentoring someone or to start helping someone. Get involved in your community. Um, I know that there's volunteer activities, and I, I heard somebody said they went to Mackinac. That is awesome. Take advantage of every opportunity presented to you. It's going to make such a difference in expanding your experience in your personal life. So I really didn't have anything planned, but you know, I just wanted to make sure that I connected with the fifth graders and said that this is your first step, and I hope you keep going. And you can be successful. And if you need me, reach out to my office. <laughs> reach out to my office. I'll be happy to come back and mentor some of you because, again, it's it's connecting uh, with the community, it's connecting and mentoring that really makes the difference. And so thank you so much for giving me the honor and the pleasure of speaking to you today. I wish you much, much success in your endeavors 
fifth graders as you go into the sixth grade. And thank you, friends and family, for uh, supporting uh, our wonderful fifth graders and keep on uh, mentoring. Thank you. Thank you so much. Parents, I, we have some very well-esteemed Stevenson alumni, and I just wanted to drop a couple other names. I don't know if you know that Dan Gilbert is also a Stevenson alumni. He's the founder of Quaker Moon. And also one of the uh, co-founders of Groupon, and it's, his name is um, Eric Lukowski. <laughs> And he is also a Stevenson alumni, and his family actually just reached out to me because they're planning a big celebration for his birthday on Labor Day, and he's going to be coming around to visit the schools that he attended. So oftentimes, Stevenson alumni like to return to their home. At this time, I'm going to ask our fifth grade teachers to join me as we present our special certificates to each fifth grader. So, Ms. Hamilton, will you please join me? I just want to say congratulations to all the fifth graders, um, and all my fifth grade science students. Um, I wish you luck, success, middle school. Um, my number one motto, my homeroom, will tell you is do not let laziness get in the way of your success. You are all bright children. I have really enjoyed the pleasure of getting to know you. I've actually enjoyed the good times and the bad. Um, I just wish you success, come back and visit us. And honestly, I do want to say thank you to the parents. I will tell anyone, hands down, I've had the best experience with all of my parents this entire school year. So give your parents a round of applause. Dominique Alexander. Victoria Vance, Andre Browder, yeah. Madeline Brown, Quentin Hook, Marshall Ellis, Damarion Ford. Rico Foster. Yeah, let's go, Silas Gator. Sarah Gulcher. Layla High. Jacob High. Kennedy Holmes. Noah Holt. Minutes. Taylor Newsom, Abdul Nye, Trinise Nichols, Kamaya Poole, Rajon Randall, Aiden Redding, Eric Sanford Jr., Sean Taylor, Xavion Temple, Aiden Turner, Ariana Vargas Hernandez, and Reginald Whitaker II. Please give another round of applause. At this time, please welcome Ms. Martin. Good morning, everybody. We have been waiting for this day all year. And I'm sure you have to. So let's give them a quick hand one more time. I have to tell you, we've had a year and a half of this group. And they have done some remarkable things. They have learned some wonderful lessons and they have taught us some lessons. And so I want to thank the parents for taking the time to answer our calls to come in and talk to us when we needed to talk to you. You showed that you were very caring about your child, that you were very interested in their education. And please don't let that stop. They're gonna need you now more than ever. 
we were here to help in elementary school, but once they start to get into middle school and high school, they're really going to need to, even though they're going to tell you they don't. So stay near them anyway. I wanted to share uh, with the graduating, with the promoting class, um, something I found about, I don't know, about 10, 12 years ago. Uh, it was a book called The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. Has anybody heard of that book? Yeah. And he talks about these agreements that you need to make. And so students, I'm going to share each of those four agreements with you. And with each agreement, I'm going to try to give you one extra thought on that agreement. Uh, the first one is be impeccable with your word. Speak with integrity. Say only what you mean. Avoid using words, and this one is most important. Avoid using words to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. Secondly, don't take anything personal. Nothing others do is about you. What others say and do is a projection of their own reality, their own dreams. When you are immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. The third, don't, don't make assumptions. Find the courage to ask questions and to express what you really want. Communication with others as, communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstandings, sadness, and drama. Always do your best. Under any and all circumstances, do your best, and you will be, you will avoid self-judgment, self-abuse, and regret. And if you do your best, you're gonna be pretty happy with yourself at the end of the day. So with that, Curtis Britton.
because I can't wait to hear all about you, because I will be keeping it You will always hold a special place in my heart, and um, each one, not only my kids. And I do want to thank the parents this year. I want to echo what both Ms. Mark and Ms. Hamilton said. Every time we give the class dojo, you can run up there helping all along the way. I'd like to end it, and I usually am not like this, so. <laughs> okay, as a poet, Ed Lake E. Stevenson, who this school was um, actually named after, he said, um, when you leave here, don't forget why you came. So you came to learn, be a lifelong learner, and I wish you all the best. And now I would like recognizes academic success in the classroom. To be eligible, students must meet almost a 4.0 uh, throughout the entire school year in the fifth grade. The primary indicators must be based on academic achievement. So for this presidential award, we are looking for mostly A's, maybe a few B's throughout their career in fifth grade. The President's Award for Educational Achievement. This award recognizes students that show outstanding educational growth, improvement, commitment in their academic studies, but might not have made the criteria for the Educational Excellence Award. Its purpose is to encourage and reward students who gave their best effort, often in the face of circumstances or obstacles. So we're gonna start with the Presidential Award for Academic Excellence. So students, if I call your name, please come up to receive your award. Madeline Brown. Devin Jackson.
Janiah McCaskey. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your support. 